I'm coming up with a series of exercises and it's about four sections on right how to how to react so it's how to react when when you feel that trip coming yeah and hopefully hope, hopefully of course so the tai chi is that long term where the trip never happens but reality is right we're tripping all the time yeah so training your body to feel when when you're like oops that off balance and how to just relax <clears throat> and taking it to that long step where like oh i'm falling right i cannot catch myself i cannot stop and pull back so what do we do yeah so so the slowly coming together every time i do it oh maybe i should add this maybe i should take out this maybe this should be in this sequence but i i think it's uh, i think kind of close to having something that can almost be taught as a separate class or a separate series of exercises you know, and it's just real practical yeah from there and then Ross, oh, re remind me if you have time. Oh, nice haircut. Re remind me if you have time um, to demo that young, the young Tai Chi thing I was telling you about. Yeah. <coughs> so, on Tuesday, if you are interested in in the standing the young style, which is uh, what a lot of people do, that's on Tuesday nights at Catholic Charity. So I teach him that this all standing. That one is all standing and um, it's a different form. Yeah, different, a little different style from there. But that's at like 5.30. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a hard time. <laughs> it's supposed to be for the employees, but even if very few employees come in, and I know it's, you know, these are working people. It's just a, it's just a hard time, yeah. It's after work and I oh, go home, I got to take care of the kids or the husband or themselves or got to drive out to Y&I. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Legs out, extend. <clears throat> yeah. Pull the feet back. Just, a, just adding these light little stretches and release. And then just stretch and feel from inside, pulling and stretching. Relax the toes and stretch the toes. Yeah, and then release. And then back. Yeah, so we get the calf muscles, the Achilles tendons and calf muscles, and release. And then come forward. And when you come forward, stretch and gently push the knees down. Stretch the back and release. Okay. All right. And then shake the hands out and stretch. Yeah. And release. So as you're stretching, drop your shoulders. Yeah, drop your elbow shoulders and and stretch so you can see my palms are about the height of my solo plex here not solo plex checks not too high yeah so when you do this type you're practicing keeping the shoulders down yeah and just extending yeah. and back and then they shake it out <coughs> and then one more time Oh, I feel the sneeze coming. Excuse me if I sneeze. Okay, and shake it out. So, anybody suffering from that that trigger finger or that lock right now? Before, yeah, I've I've had it, and her son came back. It's, the son was working up in Alabama on the docks. Um, his family business every day pulling ships, pulling tow ropes. And so, surgery, one, two, three finger, the what? Surgery for the three finger, trigger finger. Oh, yeah. In the, the ligaments and tendons, they shorten, they inflame. So, yeah, he was telling me how just every day it hurts you. And then it only goes away when he stops and say, Well, how often are you doing that? Every day. So, it's always inflamed, right? It never has a chance to rest. Yeah, and but yeah, yeah, that when you get that trigger finger, you have to actually relax, yeah, relax, and then you have to pull it and let it unlock. But yeah, that's that's not fun. <clears throat> so yeah, to get surgery like that, that's like the um, the carpal tunnel, right? If you don't catch it early enough, right, where the tendon ligaments get so damaged already, yeah, so. Yeah, take take time to do all these simple little you know stretching with the hands 
Basically. You know, it's really good if you watch the warm-ups for like Judo and Aikido. Before they get into everything, you know, all, all, the, all the practices, there's all kinds of stretching. You look at them, all the, all the stretching of the joints, the hands, right? Oh, they do all of these, right? The rows. You know, before any of those throws, before any of the partners, right? They're just sitting down. They're doing all of these, all of these things. But yeah, if you if you take the finger, right, you can massage and roll and gently pull while you're doing that, you know, especially on the joints. Right? You gently pull, and so as you're pulling right, to open up the joints, you have to relax. Right? If you don't want to tense the hand, you have to just relax. Right, and then just gently pull and you add the practice of, of what we're doing thinking like oh a cable's pulling right so even though you're physically pulling you can imagine there's still a cable pulling the finger at the same time so this this doesn't have to do anything right it just relaxes something else is pulling and this is nice polishing techniques Right, so part of the part of our joint problems is that calcification, right, and the, the minerals deposits build up. And some of that is the arthritis, the inflammation. So, yeah, you can you, you want to call it polishing, but basically you can just those small little circular movements right on the joints, and right, pulling and stretching, and the only way to clean out the body cleans it out is through your circulatory system. But if you don't have too much veins, but you can see in the Qigong, we can get the blood flowing, right? And that's what flushes it out. But you got to do the manual manipulation to help loosen up all you know, that crystallization right? and get the flow and open up the joints and open up the circulatory. Yeah. <clears throat> so otherwise that stuff just sits there yeah, for a long time. Yeah. They have, um, well, I should bring it one day, you know, they Somebody gave one to me. Uh, have you ever seen these hand massagers? You stick it in, it's like a little box, some of them are squares, and just put your hand in and it just, it's the massage, yeah. And they're, they're all rechargeable. So you can put it in this way to get over here, but yeah, you know, you look and they're devices. I think Marukai has them. I saw them at Marukai for, relatively reasonable price you can find them online for hundreds of dollars like two three hundred dollars yeah but but yeah try and you know remember to do that and and the other thing you can do is roll so i haven't done this in a long time i used to do this before you hold your hand out and then basically make circles to so go outside and down so you're looking at your palms and then come up yeah and then out down and up, yeah, and just relax, yeah, just relax first, make it loose, right, and make it relaxed. And so you're gonna go one way, right, and then you're gonna go the other way. So then you go down, and then out, and down, and out. So you start off relaxed, and then from relax, you slowly start stretching, right? So one finger, one joint at a time, One finger, one joint at a time. Kind of like those nudie branches. In those those Spanish, what, what do you call them in the water? The Spanish, um, I forget what we used to call them. Oh, those water slugs, right? Those beautiful water slugs, right? But they're, they swim, okay? And then what you start doing is slowly start closing, right? So you slowly start making a fist, okay? So it closes one joint, one figure at a time, spiral, right? And then slowly you start squeezing the fist, and then you're gonna open one joint, one finger at a time. Yeah, yeah. And squeeze, right, and then slowly, right? So you have that stretch, and that relax, and then the compression, and then the relax, and then the stretch. Yeah? So you go both ways. Right, so from here down and then you go up. you go the other way yes you go down and out yeah 
right? So at the height of it, you really stretch, stretching, stretching, cooling, right? and then really squeezing. Right? And then before you finish, just lighten it up again. Yeah, Just relax. Right? It still has a little stretch, but just relax both ways, coming out and then the other way. Mm. So this is actually a really good exercise, yeah. And you want to you want to feel that you're moving the joints here right, from there. When when Ross and I were taking kung fu, I, I remember a teacher because we have to learn how to do this this move. It's an application move, but he would tell us, right, just practice this, right, and it's strengthening all of this at the same time. So not just pure application. Right? But right, just stretch and tuck it in, right? and it comes together. Yeah. So if you can try make your elbows touch your forearm. Right? So if you can, as far out as you can, but wherever it is where it, you can close it. Right? Yeah. So even if you're doing it one hand, and right, it's showing you, right, it's still going to tuck in to the center. But that will help all of all of this from here. So this is just an extension, right? Rolling and curling the fingers off of that, one at a time. Yeah. Yeah, just go one finger, one joint at a time. Yeah, both ways. Yeah, coming out and going the other way. Yeah. Okay, shake all that out. Right. Some of these exercises I haven't done for so long, right? And I don't do strength things, and when I do them, I go, oh wait. <laughs> yeah. So the other one that's come out very similar, very simple is um, a popular Tai Chi move is called single whip. And you see little variations, but it ends up something like this. So it's this is the hand. Right? It's it's same thing, shoulders down, elbows down, but it's like you're plucking something. Right? And, and you can see I keep it close to me. Yeah? And I, don't, I don't want it way out here. Just coming out, shoulder down. So the thumb is down, and then we start off with the two fingers surrounding it, and then the other fingers surround it, and just stretching down. So the fingers are stretching, pulling, so they're straight. Um, you see people doing it like this, really relax, yeah? Okay, not for this exercise. Okay, so when you do it like this, right, you're pulling. Okay? So you're going to strengthen over here, yeah? here, and when you keep this straight, you can feel right in here working. Yeah, I did this about two weeks ago. I was showing somebody, and they saw I was really stretching, making it dynamic. And I went, ah, oh, ah, oh, wait, it's cramping because I just don't do it anymore. And I just don't do a lot of these strength exercises with my hands, and it just revealed to me how right how much i lost now i can do it so it doesn't take much right to bring it back but yeah so it's like picking up something and plucking keeping this down right? like pulling drawing something out you know you see them pull taffy mm -hmm. yeah you imagine right? like you're pulling and stretching yeah and you can really feel all in here st stretching yeah so Bend by the elbow or, you know, yeah. make it straight? Yeah, so you want to bend from here, yeah. Okay. yeah. So you have the stretching, but there's a lot of strength, strength building. Yeah, and right in here, right, this is grip from here. If you want it, so, so I only do it right hand, I realize, oh, I should probably do it two hands. But if you want to turn it into a strength exercise, right, our, our teacher told us, just get, um, no, I don't have any bottle. He would tell us, get get like the plastic gallon, right? The Malolo syrup or the, the shoyu bottle, right? And you fill it with, with a little water where it's comfortable. And you, he would tell us, you only pick up the cap. Yeah. And he would only do it with like three fingers, yeah? So you just, and straight, so... You're smashing the cap in, right? Not gripping it like this. 
yeah, straight. And and they would either be um, when you do exercises, there's you, you switch them between you know like one, two, three, right? So repetition and you letting go and holding right? as long as you can. But yeah, just picking up. So you can use like the water bottles now, right? We got all the water bottles with the skinny little caps, but they they're really thin caps. But you can just go a little little wider, right? Don't have to be right on the fingertips. You know, it can be here. You don't have to make it as extreme as we're trying. As we're trying to like. <laughs> we're like, hey, get away, right? We're we're going for that type of effect, but just to. Do that. So we would do three. Oh, oh, see, I just stretched it. Oh, I just grabbed it there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and it was when I did, when I only did these two, because it's not distributed, right? So when I only did these two, it really isolated out here. So yeah, I'm not I'm not there yet. But you can do all five fingers, right? You don't have to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I haven't had one of those hula moments again, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So, it's it's always fun to see where the martial art is hidden in the dance. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, all you have to do is change the intent and the intensity and how you do it, right? And then they look at it and go, Why are you doing it like that? Oh, it looks so rough and warrior. And you just go, Yeah. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Make it pretty. Next next hour, right? But yeah, it's and a lot of cultures have done that, right? A lot of cultures are when they take in over. Right? One of the things they do is they, they don't want the revolt, so they ban all the martial arts, right? So all the martial arts goes underground and they get thrown into the dance, right? The aesthetics. Kapuria is a, is a major example of that, right? It turned into a dance, but that's how they hit the martial arts. So, and there, there's Okinawa is another example, right? Where they talk about the use of farm implements Right, because it took away the weapons. And everything's a weapon. And everything's a weapon, so they just got more creative. Right? Whatever they're using every every day, daily life, they train that into a weapon. Yeah. From there. So yeah, so when you look at that, right, that pluck, and it's always interesting to me when when I talk about that, because like I said, when I, when I used to watch the hula dancers before, right, when they do these these hand movements, I could see, I remember, I could see the intensity of the stretch and the trembling and the reaching, which I don't see, I, I don't watch that much hula, but when you watch the um, competitions, yeah, you don't see it in the competitions. And I realized that's because you cannot have everybody doing their own thing, right? So you kind of pull it back and that's the baseline. So I look at it in the individual. I look at for it in the aloha hula, and I, I just don't, you know, I don't see it like that before. Sometimes I see it, sometimes I don't. But that's you can, you know, when you think of this, you can relate the martial, yeah, where it comes from. But yeah, right, that pluck. So if you do it a little bit more dynamic, right, it's really going to build build that up. Right? Even if I go like that or together. But keep the shoulder down and just that, yeah, that crane plucking from there. And if you add in the circles and the hand movement, then you start training from the fingertip all the way up to here, yeah, wherever you're doing it. And shake it out and extend it out. Yeah. Okay. So just, just some different things, that easy to do. Yeah. Okay. All right. So legs out and slowly walk it back. No. Oh, I know. Since we're doing something different, we'll take you through the eight brocades of silk. So we'll stand. We'll stand. You can sit if you want. 
but I'll show you the standing. Eight brocades of silk is an old, old exercise. Um, there's all these variations. You go on YouTube, you'll find it all over. And the beginning will look a little bit different from what I do this, the sequence, but almost the same. I learned mine from a uh, teacher from Taiwan was visiting Hawaii and somehow we got him into our class and he came for several weeks. He was acupuncturist and yeah, he just small skinny guy and oh, wow, had so much knowledge, was teaching all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and he taught us these eight brocades of silk. Okay, so let's do a normal warm up first. Right, so that initial, which has a lot of knowledge, right? So gently touch the ankles. Right, the first lesson, take a breath using the yawn and let it go. Right, and then we can start gathering and we can start filling up our body, our mind, expanding way up in the sky and slowly let go, slowly let everything go. And when you feel your body as relaxed as possible, then start to rise. Right. Start to just that little soap bubble. Breathe in, push the knees back. One more time. Ah. And again, gather. Think way up in the sky. Think of the stars, the sun. And use your fingertips to direct that energy down through the top of your head. Let everything go. Slowly letting everything go. One more time, breathe in, push the knees back. Ha. Ah. Feel the spine expanding, feel the head pulling from above. So when you're ready, that's when you rise. And then this time, I'm fast, let go. Unlock. Ha. Ah. Okay. Shift to your right, right, let this hold until you can slowly pick up the left to open. Yeah, in okay. there. Okay. So when you step, as long as you turn, right, whatever that comfortable step is, right, not, not controlling narrow, but just a comfortable step, and that's, that's going to be a perfect step. It's going to be the perfect step. You don't have to think like how many inches or where. Yeah? As long as you turn it forward and that leg is free. Okay. So the first, the first one is a gathering move. Right? So you come up and you keep your shoulders down. And it's almost like pouring something, like drinking something. And then it comes down. So it's a two-part. And then you draw, like you're pulling the chi up in the center and then you press and this is optional but I'm adding it in now you arch back a little bit just a little bit and then you come back turn the palms and come back down and as we're going up and down let your body come up and go down yeah, naturally so everything moves so you breathe in and the fingertips are just touching or close to each other and exhale sink let everything go and then you draw breathing in as you come up and then you press and stretch and arch back a little bit just a little bit and then come back and down okay. and then from here you rise right? and then we begin again so down breathe in Shoulders down, out, let everything go, breathe in, pull and draw, press, stretch back a little bit, and down, sink, and then rise, and breathe in, and out, and then in, and out, just controlling that soap bubble, pull, imagine you're pulling that energy through the legs, through the body, pressing it up, 
back a little bit and back down sink and rise breathe in ah. last time breathe in Press, stretch, and back, sink, and then rise, breathe in, and out. Okay. The second one, your arms are going to lift, and then uh, same side as me, your left hand is on top, and just relax, and let everything sink. The left hand is right in the center, so center of your palm is about center, solo plex, right? solo plex across it, it just, just gently touches. The bottom hand is just below your belly button, lining up with your lower tantin, and then it's going to stretch up and down. You look at your upper hand, and then you follow, you come to the side, and you let your head roll, you let your neck roll all the way down, and as you come down, you release both palms. Okay, and then you're going to come up and then the right hand on the top so you feel the shoulders drop and you press you look at the hand and then you follow the right hand so you roll your head roll the neck and as you come down both both hands release yeah. so we've got that stretch here yeah? the two hands stretching and looking so the head's rolling all the way down. Just let it roll all the way down. And then as you come up, you breathe in. Okay, so we start off with the left hand on top. Okay, so you breathe in. Left hand on top, exhale, sink. Breathe in, both hands separate. And exhale as you roll and turn your head and follow the left hand all the way down. Release the wrist. And then breathe in, looking up, and then right hand on top. Both hands pressed down, facing down. Breathe in, and out. Follow your right hand, roll your head, you warm up your neck. Breathe in, left on top, in, and out. Just take your time rolling your head. Relax. In. Right hand on top. Ah. In. And out. Follow your hand all the way down. One more time. Left hand in. And out. And in. And out. in and out and in and out okay, and relax so the third one the hands are similar they start here and then they turn but then they both come down right? so when the teacher taught us he actually did this one really relaxed and fast I don't I don't do it at that speed anymore but it tells me that's an option. When you come down, you, you turn your head, you're exhaling, and then you come back to center. So the hands and looking forward finish together. So he taught us at this speed. Actually a little faster, it was more, even more relaxed. Yeah, he did it real relaxed. I tend to do it slower, but that just tells you you have that option, yeah? You can do it very relaxed, or you can do it kind of take your time, slow movement, whatever, whatever it feels like. And again, remember, three is always that nice number, but on your own, you know, whatever is comfortable, whatever you feel you need, especially neck, yeah. Oh, sometimes you just want to keep doing it, and the range of motion gets larger and larger with everyone, and you know, that's what you need yeah, for today. Okay, so you breathe in, lift, and just drop the hands, exhale, look to the left, and back to center. And breathe in, 
Look to the right, exhale, back to center, in, left, breathe in, right, breathe in, left, so turn and exhale, come back, breathe in, and right. So you can see the first three movements is just standing, yeah? So legs relaxed and have that pump, let your body pump, breathe in and out, yeah? Have the, even if it's small, you can make it large. Okay, the next one, a little bit wider, one, a little wider, stronger stance, and it's a bow and arrow movement. So, the, uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start my left hand inside. Okay? And the inside hand is going to pull the bowl. And it's just short here. So, see, it just it doesn't pass here. And that's in, a, in the straight plane. I'm just drawing the bowl. The other hand is going to make an L, the thumb and forefinger. Right? And that one's going to, you're going to turn to that side and press and it stays down so you don't let it straighten and and um hyper extend like that you're going to feel it coming out and right there right where you feel that stretch and keep this bent keep the elbow bent down and you look right through here right that's the and that's it staring at that mountains mountain top kind of thing right just just stare right through there yeah? and you, you come down a little bit, right? Whatever is comfortable for you. So if you, you want to come way down here, that's fine. You want to come down just a little bit, that's fine. As long as you have a little bit of bend, yeah? You do what's comfortable, what's safe. Yeah? And if you can go lower, go lower. But don't, you know, don't make it unsafe. Don't make it uncomfortable. If your knees hurt, come up higher. Yeah. We don't want we don't want the knees hurting. Right? It's that same thing when you come down, this has to fold right? to keep the knees back. Okay. So left hand inside first. Okay? So breathing in and come down, whatever's comfortable. The inside hand draws the bowl. The outside hand makes that L and you turn and you look through the thumb and forefinger. And then you come back with the fist, gently touching and rise. Then the right hand comes inside, crossing. So the inside hand, the right hand is going to pull the string. The left hand is going to make the L. Exhale, and then breathe in, and exhale. Okay, so then left hand in, breathe in, and out. in and out and then your right hand in and out look to your left in and out and then in and out and in and out and last one in and out and in and out and then just about the same point the next one is a little bit more dynamic as you come down you draw your hands to rest on the hip and same thing we want you want to rub from the elbow to the wrist lightly against the body and create that light friction so I'm going to drop down, I'm going to breathe in, and then your left hand punches straight out. Loose fist, yeah, right in the center, yeah, not too high. Yeah, you want to keep it, keep it low. And you want to express the breath, so the ha. Huh. So it's ha. Huh. Yeah, just open up. Yeah, you have that, the diaphragm, the breath, all of that. Yeah, and, and these are the times you have to learn how to express yourself. A lot of times when I do it, I can only hear myself. I don't want to hear myself. I want to drown me out. Yeah? So, you come down. And left hand. Ha! And then just let it drop down 
to the right side, you pick it up and out and in and then open the palms and cross and rise. Yeah. And then we do the right hand. So you come down, breathe in, then the right hand punches. Ha! Drop it down across and just relax. Come up, out and in and rise. Okay, so then left hand again, breathe in. Ha! Drop it straight down, just unlock. Comes out and in and cross. And then right hand, breathe in, punch, ah, across, and in, and down, and one more time. Left hand, breathe in, ah, across. You notice how I let my body turn? Yeah, from there, so don't lock your body. And right hand, ah, and right here, I just let my body turn to help bring my hand. And then turn and rise. Okay. And then this one, if you're more comfortable seated, let me show you first. As we're working down our body, hips. So I brace my hand. It's important that I don't do this free free form. My hands are here, and that's going to help to limit my knees. Yeah. And it goes down. I go one side and I roll and I look behind me and come back center and I go the other side. So, if you don't feel safe doing it, do it on the chair, same thing, you're just going to roll, right? And on the chair, you can get a, de a bigger range of motion, right? If you feel comfortable, then you can stand, but like I said, keep your hands here, because that's going to limit where you are, yeah? And it's just to op open up from there, so... Whatever is comfortable. You can feel on the chair, you're still going to get that hip, yeah? You're going to lose some other parts, but that's okay because this is for the hip pelvic. <laughs> okay? So, you start on one side, and you look at your toe, and then you circle, look at the toe, and then look over your shoulder, and imagine you're looking behind you to the other shoulder and center. And then you go the other side. So you go from toe to toe to heel, over the shoulder, behind the back, the heel, the toe, and center. Right? And then just, re just keep repeating. You can see each one emphasizes you know, a major area of the body, but they're all, right? The, except for the, the punch, right? We're still rolling the head, rolling the neck and the joints. And the breath, of course, is important. Okay. So then, um, so then one stand again. And <coughs> so... The next one is this one. So the kidneys and, and the organ flows. So using your palms, right? By now your palms are nice and warmed up. You start on your kidneys and the same thing. If you can squat all the way down, great. If you cannot, then you don't worry about it. It comes down, you trace the back of your legs. If you can squat, you go all the way down and the fingertips would trace the outside and then come inside. And then the fingertips inside, right, coming up in the center, and they split right under the collarbone, and then you come back. Right? So you go down as what's comfortable. If your hands cannot physically reach, you still send your mind there. Right? So you still think, oh, the hands are going down, right? They're tracing around the toes, right? They're coming up inside, and then you continue. Right? So you want that all the way down. And you can see, if you look at it, right, we're trying to cover all the meridians, we're flushing, we're just moving the chi through the whole body. Yeah? This line coming up here on the inside of the fingertips is your liver, kidney liver. Right? So liver is over here, and that's why 
I tell you now, um, yeah, any of these kind of movements, right, have that nice little rub and vibration stimulate the center of your rib cage, two sides. So your, your left side, that's stomach, stomach spleen. Your right side, this side, that's kidney, kidney gallbladder, yeah, from here. When, when we're doing, when you do things like, oh, this because it's sore and tight, yeah, you're massaging muscle, but you're also trying to get your kidney to relax, right? Your kidney is right here, yeah. So kidney, relax, healthy kidney is really important to your health, right? For you feeling strong and good, right? Liver is important, right? What does the liver do, right? Flushes toxins, so does the kidney do? Gets it out of your body, right? So these are major filters. What does the stomach do? Has to process the food, right? So everything is important. Everything has its, its purpose. So this, you can see you're trying to basically cover, right? you're trying to roll that chi through all the organs and you're trying to flush now. Just flush and run that water, run that energy th through it all. So it's going to be, feet are going to be a little bit closer, okay, just to get it in line. And in general, you would do six times. So left and right are three times, or if it's symmetric like this would be six times. And this one, you just breathe naturally. There's, this kind of movement, there's there's no prescribed, oh, you have to breathe in, you have to breathe out. You just breathe naturally. If you cannot go down, just imagine it tracing and coming up. And just take your time. And, and you think about where you, your hands are going to go. You think about that line. Because you always want to start with the intent. And then on the last one, you just end on your kidneys and just take a breath. Ah, let go. Another opportunity, right? Ah, let go. Okay, and then just let your hands drop. Okay. And then um, you want to shake everything out. So I'm going to press down right, so I can feel my shoulders stretching down. At the same time, I'm going to lift up. Right? But as I'm lifting the heels up, the hands are pressing down and breathing in and then just let go huh. yeah, and just shake everything out. Right? So that's that same practice, right? Huh. Drop. So breathe in. Huh. Yeah. Huh. yeah, shake. Huh. It's like you're shaking out the filter. Shaking out the reusable filter. Ah. Yeah, just let it thumb. Ah. Ah. Yeah, get that thud going. Ah. Ah. Yeah. So if you make it, if you make it too nice, ah. right, nothing shakes out, right? You, you guys have, you guys have um bagless vacuums, canister, right? Take it out. The bottom opens. And you gotta pull everything out, right? And then you gotta like tap, 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 and all that stuff comes out stuck in there. So same thing, right? If you go nicely, it doesn't loosen up. So uh, and shake it out. Uh, I'm there. Okay. And then the last one is the very bottom of the feet and the joints. So it's it's kind of like that rocking chair kind of movement. So I'm gonna fold. I'm going to lift my heel. As I lift my heel, I'm going to drop down, relax, and I'm just going to rock from heel to toe, just pressing the bottom of the feet. But this has to fold. So when I lift my toe, right, I have to fold forward. When I lift my heel, right, I have to fold back. Yeah. So if you're undoing the chair, right, if you don't feel comfortable, just make it. You don't have to go high, but... You just, right, you just massaging, right? Just press and lift, right? And press and lift. You can see that last pump, right? That last foot pump. Make sure the bottom of the feet 
right? It's circulating, right? And it's just relaxed. But from from standing, right? It has to fold, right? I have to let my body, right? That's that rocking chair. I think of it as that rocking chair move, movement, yeah? From there. And then that's it. <laughs> new, new movement, so don't worry, right? Any new movement going to be... It's going to be a little bit. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, don't. Yeah, but yeah, if it's, yeah, you, you, right, don't make it uncomfortable. Yeah, don't make it uncomfortable if the bones are starting to crunch and crack or, right, if it hurts, yeah, you can sit and do it. Or just, oh, yeah, the pack, pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And it's funny when your bones creak and crackle, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, right? You have to know your body. Yeah, from there. So that's called eight brocades of silk. I will tell you the Chinese name, but I can never remember it. It's, it's something, Baduan, something. Go on YouTube, go on the internet and find out. But eight brocades of silk. Um, and you, you'll see it, normally the, the first one they do, the first one or two is about the biggest difference. It's just a slight modification, but the one I see, they'll come up and press really arch and then come back down. Where the one we learned has that double movement. And then they come up, yeah. And when he taught, taught it to us, he didn't have this. But this, um, this hyperextension going back, right, stretches over here, right, and all of these kind of movements I'm learning it helps to stimulate the kidneys. So even on the bow and, uh, the, the, on the bow and arrow, you'll see them coming out and tilting, and that's to open up the kidneys on two sides, so that's optional, yeah, and stimulating all over there. Okay. So eight brocades of silk, it's... Uh, what the history says, it's, it's one of the first exercises that Damo brought over from India to teach the, the Chinese Shaolin monks. So the, the historical is that, right, the Buddhism was imported, right, into China. So it was in India first. So that's if the, the, uh, the monkey god, the story of the monkey god, Half of the story of the monkey god is who he is, where he came from, and then the other big half is the journey to retrieve the scriptures from the West, journey to the West, right, to, because the, they didn't have the complete set of scriptures, so they had to go and get more scriptures, right, and the trials and tribulations. But uh, the, the popular history is he came over, and to visit the Shaolin, the Shaolin temples. And um, when he got there, all the monks couldn't meditate because they were falling asleep. So they had the scriptures, but they didn't have the, yo the yogic practices. They were missing the physical practices. So he brought in the basic practices. It, 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 you have to, it's not just, it's not just chanting scriptures and sutras, right? you have to develop the, the body, the body too, because if the body is weak, <laughs> so he said when they came, they're all falling asleep. So he's, so April case is one, um, the, the muscle tendon changing was another, I forget, I forget there's, I think there's three, three main ones, sort of old, old practices, yeah. And that's, it's interesting too, because that's, the martial arts of Shaolin, you could trace it back to that because that's the first Qigong that they had from there. Yeah. So, all right, hands up. What time is it? Oh, where's the clock? And then, yeah, so just something different yeah, to look at. It's a nice exercise. You can take any of those, right? You don't have to do the complete. I have another set that when we learned, our teacher said that. Uh, he learned it down here. They called it eight brocades of silk, totally different. 
So they'll, they'll reuse the names because the names are important from there. Yeah. Okay, so if you always think, right, underlying everything is you're always practicing the breath and you're always practicing letting go. So within that, right, it's you want to complete the breath and you want to let go of everything, then you can feel, have a full breath, a full infusion of knowledge, whatever it is, and then you have to let it all go. And then you start up again. So you build that into the process of the breathing in and out, the expansion, the relaxing, right? And the practice is slow, but as we do it, you also have to practice fast. So. At the very end, huh, okay. because everyday life, you can't say, oh, wait, and stop traffic and, uh, yeah, everybody else's tension is going up, right? So in real life application, it's like, oh, let it go, right, and, and, and move on from there. Okay, so sometimes, so today we're going to start it this way, right? relax the legs and slowly press both legs and then reach the toes down so they're flat, yeah. make the adjustments in the ankle and pressing, pressing, pressing and then bring your mind into the hip joint, right, so this is the other big thing, physically learn to think inside of this pelvic hip joint what's the proper never mind <laughs> okay. and so if you think right in that joint you can feel everything start to release you're still pressing but you put your mind here right your, your intent is not holding on to any muscle tissue in the joint and then imagine your spine expanding right? let the chin tilt tilt in the head pull back and then something pulling you. And then drop the shoulders. So the arms start falling and pulling and open up the palms. And same thing. Keep your mind in that hip joint. And keep your mind in the lower tantin energy center. Take a nice deep relaxed breath. Use the yawn. Use the and ha. To put the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Second time, nice full breath. Oh. Third time. Oh. And then breathe normally, look straight ahead. Feel all the joints letting go. Okay, and then slowly commencement, as you breathe in, start to pick up the hands. Extending, stretching, and sinking. And bring it to the heart. Relax. Number two, rolling. That little soap bubble out, extend, sink, bring it into the body. Feel the forearms rubbing against the rib cage. Press. And bring it back. Bring it back to the heart. One, open and close. Turn to your right. Pull the spine to your right. And pull the hands up a little. Release the spine and open. And palms hide off the face. Look at the left hand. Pull the spine to the left and drop the right hand. So single whip to one saw. Pull the spine and release. And then pull the spine and release. And keep the palms nice and open and stretched. Pull the spine so your body turns 45 and release. Last one. Oh. 
Okay, come back to center, hold the ball, release, and open and close. Okay, then left, pull your spine and press and release, unlock. Ah. Look at the right hand. Start dropping the left hand. Pull the spine. Ah. So if you pull the spine and release, right at that small moment, it's a practice of fast unlock. Right? Pull your spine. Ah. And then slowly letting everything go. Right? And then breathing and coiling. Ah, right there, that little fast release. Breathing in, coiling. Ah. And bring the hands back to center. Ah. Breathe in. And now, and the brush knee, the right side. So pull your spine and pull the fingertip up. Breathing in. And start pulling the fingertip forward. So the fingers face forward and ha. Ah. Slow release and then breathe in, pull the palm out and then keep on turning. Hold the, like you're holding that stick right there and ha. Ah. And then pull the spine, left hand rolls up and then ha. Ah. Okay, then parry right and parry left. Okay. Still check that your legs are a little heavy, sinking, pressing into the earth. Breathe in. Huh. Cover. Right. Pull the spine so your hands are outside of the knee. Breathe in and start to grab. And as you release, huh. turn back and then pull the spine until the left hand tucks by the body and the right hand is about the height of the throat. And ha, ah, release. Come back center and roll back. And let the body, let the waist and spine move left and right. Lift, double hands pushing. Release the wrist and drawing back to open and close. And then repeat on the left side. Pull the spine left, pull the left fingertips up to brush knee. Breathe in, pull the fingertips forward. Ha, ah, lift, roll and turn the palms, center, yeah, just like you're holding a stick. Ha, yeah. ah, right hand comes up, pull the spine, <coughs> release, ha, ah, left palm shoots under the elbow, pull the spine and parry left using the shooting palm, release, parry right. Cover. Ah. Pull the spine. Left on top of right. Breathe in and start to grab. Exhale. Ah. And turn some more. Ah. Release. Rolling back. Gather. Lift. Release the wrist. Pull and draw the palms back. Right in front of the heart, connected sun flowing down. Okay, repeat on the left side, brushing the knee. Pull the fingertip up, pull the spine, fingertip forward. Ah. Leisurely tying the coat. Turn a little bit more. And as you release, the right hand circles up. And pull and release. And pull the spine to the left. Come into the belly button, the left fingertip on the wrist, and lift, and then tuck the elbows, and the palm comes out, and release, big spiral, turning the palm back, and both palms swivel to the front, yeah, so it's you know, just like um, deflecting something away from you, and then hold the ball. And then right side, pull the fingertip up, breathe in, and forward, ah. lift the sternum, release, 
Left hand circles up. Release. Palms forward. Pull the spine to the right as the hands wipe down. Come into the belly button. Right fingertip on the wrist. Lift. Spread under the chin. Tuck the elbow. Out. Extend. Release. Swivel the palms to the front. Yeah. Lift the sternum. Okay, turn to the right, press, and as you release, drop the right hand. Okay. When you come to the center, you have to rotate the spine and then turn the right palm in. And then you have to turn back. So the bottom hand is going to grab a fist and turn up, drop the elbow, and then keep on turning until fist on the elbow, right in the center, right in the center. Breathe in, cough. And keep on turning and then open and come up and release and turn to your right. Drop your hands, brush the knee, brush the left knee. Keep on turning, left hand up, breathe in, repulse monkey, brush the right knee, lift the sternum. Just drop the other hand on the side. Keep on turning. Ah. Oh. Leisurely tying the cold, left hand's going to circle up, wiping down, right fingertip connects to the wrist, rotate the left palm up, lift right under the chin, close to you, tuck the elbow, push the fingertip out, release, swivel, so yes, turn the palm, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so that last one is like you you pushing something away from you. Right? Yeah. Going? This way. Open, drop the left hand as you're opening, and then turn the spine, rotate the bottom hand, it grabs and makes a fist, and drop the elbow as you come back. Turn the body, fist on the elbow. Breathing in, oh. squeeze. Open, turn to your left, repulse monkey, brush the knee. Oh. Remember one, lead with the fingertips as we come forward. Let's come up, lead with the fingertips. Yeah. Tap the finger and then the palm. Keep on turning, repulse monkey. Lead with the fingertips. Leisurely tie the coat, turn. Right hand circles up, come back to the center, both palms out, wipe down, turn to, to the left. Left fingertip on the wrist, lift, and then out. Turn the waist, turn, 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 and release. Okay, so right here, the bottom hand swivels out, right, like you're keeping something away. Yeah, there we go, and then release. Out and down. You press both legs and release one side, sink into the hip. Press that leg heavy and sink into the hip joint. Press both feet and slowly let go. Hands up. Let your body expand way up in the sky. Make sure that sun is sending that energy down to the sun in your chest. Flow everything through your body one more time. Want to make sure that that energy is flowing through the whole body, through the spine, the organs, all the meridians. Flowing through all the bones one more time. And so let everything go. Breathe in. And ha. Yeah. All right. So um, let's see. Where was it? Oh. Okay. So that. 
that practice of that quick letting go, the ha. Huh. Okay. So you can actually build that into every movement. So the the first part there's in the in the chair. In the standing, we have a little bit of movement. But the first three movements, right, we're not really turning, so we're not really pulling the spine. But from the four, five, and six, right, from the single whip and all of this, every movement, right, pull the spine. Right? So you pull the spine, or right, you're coiling, and you're coiling that spring up, you just, ha, huh, just let it go. Right? And then slowly, it's going to keep on going. So it's, it's the reverse in that you practice the fast, let go first, ha. Huh. And then you keep on, you don't stop that momentum. You keep on going and before it stops, you grab it again. Ha. Huh. Right? And then you let that momentum, then you grab it again. Ha. Huh. So it's really, small and subtle but you can bring that you bring that in right that pulling 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 huh. and that momentum and before that momentum stops grab the spine imagine pulling the spine huh. and that slowly right? are you letting everything go finish the movement and all from there yeah so if you go from here, right, you go from here, and we do the second one, the single whip, so turn right and open. Right, so right there, right, you, so you bring your hand up, and we start with an open and close. Yeah, yeah, start with an open and close, everybody. Right, so you pull your spine to the right, pull the hands out, breathe in, huh, just release. Huh, yeah, and then that momentum, and before it stops, you have to pull the Pull the spine a little bit more, yeah? You have to keep on pulling the spine. So again, right from here. Let's go this side. Go to your left. Pull the spine, pull the hand out. Nice deep breath. Ha. Ah. Yeah. And just kind of roll into, roll into the single whip. But if you don't do anything, you're not going to complete the single whip. Right? I should be here. So, you ha. Ah. So I have to start pulling my spine to finish it. Then it's symmetrical from there. So one more time. Go to your right. Yeah, so breathe in, pull the hand out. Ah. And you have to pull a little bit more to, to hit that single one. Right? And then you're going to pull the spine and this hand drops down. Right? So now you're coiling. Ah. So, yeah. So as you feel that thump, right, the bottom hand lifts and the top hand drops a little bit, right? Huh. And then you have that momentum, if, but it kind of stops right there, right? So you got to pull the spine, right, and let it finish, and then pull the spine. Huh. And then hit center, start pulling the spine. Huh. Yeah. So if you did it dynamically, right, without this slow practice in between, right, it would be, it would be like, ha, ha, right, I could just, ha, and I could add that, ha, that dynamic, and that bounce would come out, yeah, from there. So that's the play part. So you have to play and explore that letting go. So, right, it just, it starts off. Right, releasing and slow. Right? Pull, coil, coil, coil. Ha. Coil. Ha. And so now I'm just letting this go, right? But then it could be. Right, I, I want it to flow. So if I did it standing, right, it would be. It could be like. Ha. And just let it whip and add momentum to it. And then it starts to roll and become, become whirlwind from there. And that's where it starts. So it's like the hula, right? 
as like, okay, beginner class, okay, you learned it. Okay, what's next? Intermediate class. What's in the intermediate class? Polishing up. Oh, okay, I can perform, right? No, advanced class. What's in the advanced class? Oh, all the little hidden meanings, right? Oh, okay, I'm advanced. What's next? The closed door class. What's in the closed door class? Oh, here's all the variations and what you can do with it. Hey, this is a Kung Fu class. <laughs> what are we doing? This is, this is Lua. Wait, this is not Hula. Okay, we've got to go back to the beginning until you say, until you, they never say that, right? Like, oh. Okay. So you can see like, oh, if I do it like this, hey, wait a minute, right? I could use it for something else. But it has to start simple and you have to study. And then you got to start back at the beginning, right? And when you restart it, it's more refined. So your study is better from there. Okay, so yeah, let's stand. Let's stand. We got a few minutes. And um, let's just review the first six and just, just take it through a few times. So feet together, right? And the breath. Let go. Ha. Ah. Let it all go. Then you can start gathering. Stretching from inside, reaching way up in the sky. Ah. Slowly letting go, directing with the fingertips. When you feel everything let go, then start to rise. Just one time. Breathe in. Press the knees back in a fast. Ah. Okay. You shift to your, I'm sorry, shift to your right. Let it turn. Open the left foot 45. Okay. Shift to your left, let it turn. Open your right foot 45. Sunset. Sunset. Yeah. Come up. Gently stretch it back. Oh, now we can begin. Right. Right. So number one. Right. Number one, we're going to come up and come down. Right. We're sinking. We're sinking to the right side. So we come up first. And now start shifting to the right and start turning already. So the left heel is free. Okay. The left heel can pick up. Small step forward. Right. Shift, turn, and fold into the left. Yeah, drop your elbows, drop your elbows. Right. Roll all the way down. Turn into the left. So your right heel is free. Rub against the rib cage. Yeah. Yeah. And out and back. Oh, yeah, look at all your feet. It's, it's a wonderful thing. It's odd and wonderful to realize that if you just focus on here, your feet pretty much in the, in the right distance. Yeah, you don't have this over too far or not far enough. It's close enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right? It has to be close enough. If you listen to here, you correct here, everything else will follow. Right? So it's funny because they like to say, oh, the waist is the commander. They have, they have that saying, the waist is commander. But you never hear me talk about the waist anymore, right? I keep talking about this and then maybe the swine. Yeah. So that's the closed door class, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So one more time. Okay. We'll just start from here. Oh, now let's start from here. Let's start from the shifting, right? So... We have to open up the left, so turn and shift to the right, so the left foot can open. And turn and shift to the left, so the right foot can swivel open, 45. Come back, breathe in. Ah. Yeah. Open the palms, commencement, breathe in. And then sink on the right. Let the waist, let the hip fold, so the left heel freeze. Small step. And roll the ball out and down into the left. Then the right foot can step up. And massage the rib cage out and back. And there. One open and close. I'm going to turn to your right. So we have to shift to your left. We have to turn to free up the right leg. So the heel comes up and then you can tap it in. And then you can rotate. 
okay, and then sink forward. So you can take a small step out and then press. Oops, yeah, take your time, take your time. Yeah. Press and then open. Yeah, if you don't feel stable, you can do seated. Yeah, from there, single whip. Yeah. You know, the left foot has to come back, so we have to shift and turn. Okay. And then tap it in. You see how my hand helps to bring that in, coordinates, and the hand helps to lift and step. Yeah. This is pressing the leg down, right? and shift. So this is single whip. Fold and turn so the left heel is free, and then you can step. Okay. Fold and turn so the right heel is free, and then you can step. Yeah. Fold and turn until the left heel is free, and then you can step. And then come back to center. And then I'm going to turn that way. Right? So we have to shift to your right. We have to turn a little bit so that the left foot can free. Right? And then we can turn back. And then we can take a little step and press the ball out and open to single whip. Right? Then we have to shift back to the right and fold into the right so the left foot is free and use the hand. Right? Hand with the leg, right? Like it's picking it up and step. Yeah. So as long as you turn into that hip joint and wait for that heel to lift, right? that's where your balance is. Just have to keep your mind in that hip joint. And as you learn to keep your mind in the hip joint, start also thinking about the lower tantin, right? below the belly button. Come back to center, open and close, okay, and off. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> what time is it? So we just practice that, that turn. So the next one is the brush knee. So the right foot has to turn 45, ideally, right? And then this foot has to be free, and we're going to turn and step and the brush knee. So just practice the, the leg, right? We have to sink, right? So, so it's always that rule, right? We want to pick up one leg, we have to shift to the other and fold into that joint. So we're going to shift to the left, right? Let it fold and then we have to turn. So as I'm turning into my left, I let my right, my whole right leg follow that turn, right? And then, and ideally, I get that 45 degree angle. Okay? If you don't get all 45, don't worry about it. Because if it takes two, three steps, right, take two, three steps to make the adjustment. Okay? But the, the way it works right, is, is you're going to shift right, and turn. So as I fold into here, right, my waist is turning. So I let this foot follow. So release the toe and just let it follow. And then I can sit back, and then to release this one, I have to turn back, right? Remember, we always have to turn the opposite, then this leg will release. And once it's released, then I can turn and step. Yeah. So, and you watch people, and they look like they're not turning. If they're not turning, it's going to look really strong and physical. But if it looks like they're not turning, but they look light and like, how can you do that with turning? You watch this joint. And what you, 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 you'll see, like it, you won't see the upper body big turn, right? But you're going to start to see over here folding. So over here is collapsing and folding and then turning. And over here is collapsing and folding. But it's like magic. It's like um, uh, misdirection, right? You look, you're looking at the face. The eyes are capturing because the face looks so square. You, you just assume the whole body is square like this. But if you look at the joint, right, the joint is relaxed and folding. And then you see the twist coming up from there. Okay? So we practice it with the overt movement. And then as you relax, it just won't be there. Okay? So you shift, turn. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shift, turn, right? and then turn. And learn to turn that that foot 45, yeah. So if the feet are too close together, it's gonna, it's gonna hit you yeah, from there. 
so with at least with the one arm so you have to shift relax into here and as you turn and fold let this foot turn yeah and try to turn more on the heel so you want to bring the toe yeah yeah so you have to let this go a little bit more yeah from there okay so um, where are we I think where we are no, the brush knee yeah? so as you as you shift and release the toe okay? as you shift you start releasing the toe already so when you turn you swivel in here okay? so the um, same time the finger is the palm is coming up straight up okay? so right as I it's, it's, oh, I get myself so mixed up over here. <laughs> right, as I, I was trying to figure out which way, the upper and lower body, left and right, left hand. So we're going to turn this way, right? So, yeah, we come in here. Oh, yeah, so we're going this way. So as you're turning, this hand slides up your right hand. Right? Right? So as you're turning, this right hand comes up. Yeah? As you're sitting back, right, it's starting to fall. Yeah. So when you hit the turn, when you finish and you have the step, the finger is facing forward from here. Yeah, and so you come forward, it's fingertip, and when the toe hits down, right, boom, that's when this comes up. Yeah. So, oh, Ross, come. Oh. Yeah, no, so just stand. It's kind of, yeah. So it's, oh, um, yeah, so if I'm going... Yeah, so I'm going this this way, right? From here, I'm gonna turn, this hand is coming up, right? As I'm sitting back, this shift, this hand is starting to fall. As I step, it's coming forward. So fingertip, as the foot hits down, boom. The f when, the, when the foot goes flat, right, then you can, then I can sink. Before that toe comes down, I cannot sink, right? My weight is back. So the hand shows that, huh? from here right? so you feeling this this is um, sensors these are antenna yeah and just depends on the intent you can be sending chi you can be feeling you can you can be physically feeling oh there it is oh, yeah kind of thing okay? so on the physical side it's it, it's coming out oh there it is oh. so in real life, right, if I step up and he's way here, right, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to, right here already, right? Or, if he's or if he's too close, I have to shuffle back, right? I have to have a back step. But that's the timing, yeah? yeah. So ideally, when I step, that's when this finishes. Right? That, that would be like, oh, the perfect exact training time thank you from there but as you turn in that fingertip is pulling 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 and then that fingertip is pulling forward yeah and then huh, release so there's that unlock again huh. Right. Huh. from there yeah i remember i forgot who it was Fong Ha. i think had us practice we would come let me say, okay, the way you practice with a partner, you come over here and you go, boom. Yeah, against your partner sideways, right? Because this way you're real stable, yeah? And not to injure your partner, but just to practice that, boom. So when you get it, of course, your partner will go, boom. Like, oh, what was that? Yeah. And then you develop it. Oh, oh I, 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 this is not homework. It's not homework. Oh, oh, I see his mind turning already. I can already go. Hey, honey, bring out the pads. Bring out the shoulder pads. Yeah. But that's the, um, right? When you train properly, right? you're not fighting. You, you're releasing energy. So you're transferring energy into your partner and you're helping them to develop. And same time, you're loosening up your partner. So actually, it's actually a, a healing. Yeah? So if you're, yeah, Ross. So if no, you just turn, oh, you face them, yeah, so you can see your face, right? So it's just from here.